Welcome to Electron Online. Here's another very interesting JEE problem that you may find on a test. At least it was found on a previous test and this is how you're trying to solve that. It has to do with the Bohr atom or the hydrogen atom and they're telling us that an electron in a hydrogen atom undergoes a transition from one orbit with a quantum number n initial to another with quantum number n final. And v initial and v final, the initial and final potential energy of the electron, well, gives you a ratio of v initial to v final being equal to 6.25. And so if that's the case, what is the smallest possible value for the final orbit that the electron ends up in? It has to be a number from 1 to 9. So let's take a look. Let's say that we have the nucleus of the hydrogen atom and we have a bunch of orbitals that the electron can be in uh, or energy levels so this is energy level n equals 1 n equals 2 and so forth and it jumps from one to another position we of course don't know where it started from and where it ends up but what they're asking for is what is the smallest possible value for the final so this would be n initial this would be n final and so the question is, what is the smallest possible value of that particular energy level in the hydrogen atom? All right. So first of all, let's start with this concept. We can say that V initial is equal to minus 13.6 electron volts divided by N initial squared, whatever N initial is. We don't know. And V final is going to be equal to minus 13.6 electron volts divided by n final squared. And they do tell us the ratio of v initial to v final is equal to this. So v initial divided by v final is equal to minus 13.6 electron volts divided by n initial squared divided by minus 13.6 electron volts divided by n final squared. Notice the minus 13.6 cancels out and we end up with a ratio of n final squared divided by n initial squared and we know that's equal to 6.25. So now we have a relationship between the, the energy levels. So let's write that here. n final squared divided by n initial squared equals 6.25 or n final squared equals 6.25 times n initial squared. Now, 6.25 looks a lot like 625, if you take the square root of that, would be 2.5. So we could say that n final squared is equal to 2.5 squared times n initial squared, or n final equals 2.5 times n initial. Now, notice if n initial equals 1, if it came from the very first energy level, then, then, n final would be 2.5. Now that's impossible. n final has to be an integer. It cannot be 2.5. So the next one, if n initial equals 2, then n final equals 5. And that's an integer. So therefore, that must be the answer. n final equals 5 is the smallest possible value you can have under these conditions. And so kind of quickly, hopefully, you're able to deduce that first of all, you come up with equations for V initial and V final in terms of the, the lowest energy level, N equals 1 over a hydrogen atom. You then get the ratio, set it equal to 6.25. Now you have a relationship between NF and N initial. We can then solve that to just N final equals 2.5 times N initial. And then you realize if this is 1, this becomes a fraction, so you can't have that. If n initial is equal to 2, then this becomes 5, and that's the smallest integer value you can get, and that is then the answer of our question. That's how it's done.